Islam tu wa amora wen igar kaya arosiha dun 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 ay dun dun that's 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 it that's gonna be my new intro actually Islam tu wa amora wen igar kaya arosiha dun 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 that's it next time you hear that you know your girl is in the building she came in she has a she's here she's here anyways hi welcome back to my youtube channel uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel i was so excited to see some of you who actually subscribed i was like thank you thank you so much welcome welcome <laughs> i have arrived and i'm here for you in this difficult time in our world i just want to send my love firstly i want to send some good energy if that's even possible catch <laughs> and i just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for coming back uh, there's just so many things happening in the world but i just couldn't help but notice that some people are using this time to evaluate everything around them see what kind of people they want around them and blah 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 good for you but there are people who literally said oh i'm gonna see if my friends contacted me in this period or not, if people were like, you know, uh, checked up on me. Um, and there are a lot of tweets going around saying this is the best time to find out if that person is your friend. You need to sit down somewhere. You need to sit down. There's a pandemic going on. And what you should not do is come on social media and just say like, my friends are not contacting me, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cut people off after this whole thing. And I'm like, do you even know if your friend is okay? Have you actually called your friend to see if she's all right? Because it for A, it works two ways. And B, even if your friend is slacking to contact you, why not just pick up the phone and be like, hey, are you all right? Like, what's happening? Is everything all right at home? People are losing their jobs. People are losing um, literally, like, their homes. People are literally uh, spending their savings. Uh, people are struggling to visit their other loved ones. Um people who are like who don't even live in the same house can't even see each other so this is such a cultural and normality like crazy go like situation for everybody and the last thing you should be doing it is overcomplicating the situation and making even more this is not a social experiment this is not like a way to evaluate your circle and be like oh let's see if this person contacted me nah this is like time to check on your friends this is time to check on your family this is time to just be kind bringing drama for what you have to queue up to get milk from tesco and you're bringing drama you're, you're writing paragraphs so next time you're thinking of writing a paragraph to say like blah 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 just think about this video and stop writing that paragraph okay unless it's emergency um so yeah i think that people are just adding more drama to the drama that we already have and i just think it's unnecessary you know with the politics side, like, I have seen a lot of people who are saying, you know, oh, we should clap for Boris Johnson and we should do this. And If you want to go and clap for Boris Johnson and if you want to wish him the best of luck and if you want to do all of these things. And, and there are some Muslim journalists and uh, politicians who literally said is within my religion that I have to. Excuse me, what? <laughs> clap for who? Do you know what I mean? I can't see him. I, I don't see him, you know? And I feel like if you personally want to do that, good for you. You go and put your energy there. But personally, me, I'm not clapping for nobody. Nobody. Because at the end of the day, some of these individuals, politicians, and some of these uh, political parties have deliberately came up with policies that impact people who actually need help people who are already suffering and they've done a budget cut after budget cut after budget cut and they demolished demolished the community in however they could save the billionaires save the rich people and now the people that you've been cutting the budgets from people that you've just been disrespecting looking down on they're the ones who are keeping the country running for example bus drivers nurses um people who work in the supermarkets oh don't let me start with people who put in posts up on linkedin on linkedin saying things like there's nothing wrong w with working um you know 
in 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 these supermarkets like you have to get money wherever you you have to do what you have to do and i work in you know this supermarket and i love it and uh, why are you making a post on linkedin about you working in in some supermarkets like why do you need a statement you used to work in an office you lost your job now you're working as a like you know super uh, supervisor or you're working in a in a keep quiet and get on with it why are you making a post about it people have been doing that you know that right and i feel like this whole glorifying the fact that you work in supermarket is just bullshit people have been working in supermarkets and they absolutely go on with their lives they didn't make a post on linkedin like why now miss um sales marketing assistant who lost her job work in the supermarket writing a whole paragraph this is a tough time and i'm doing what i have to do shut up man nobody wants to hear it get on with it and be quiet this is the thing i don't even rate most of these people anyways and i'm just struggling <laughs> they piss me off i'm just like ah. but yeah um what was my original point i don't remember my original point but one thing i do know is that you know people have been hostile to the key workers and now the key workers are running the country they're the ones who are literally there putting their lives at the forefront to save you or feed you and make sure that you're okay yeah some of you can afford to be at home like myself i'm at home but my parents can't be at home do you know what i mean they still have to go to work and and i don't like this whole idea of making making it look like people are not listening people are not following the social distance that's why we have this virus going crazy even more so relax okay <laughs> relax this is something that happened two three weeks ago and this is just the result and some people have to go to work they have no choice and two three weeks ago people had no choice they still had to go to work and that's why this uh, you know virus literally like people passed it on to everybody because everybody was still out and about so i don't like this whole thing of like blaming people and stuff and if you look at people that have been out people who have not been doing self-isolation and just none of that is certain demographics and you know what i'm talking about you see them out on a bat in richmond and um who, who lives in richmond hmm? who lives in richmond mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah exactly. i still want people to check their privilege and i still feel like we're very very privileged and some of us still have water some of us still have electricity some of us still have so, so many things so let's acknowledge our privilege and anyway, one thing you can do is obviously uh, write down a list of things that you're grateful for. That helps me a lot. That brings me back to um, reality. That just makes me understand and realize that I am very, very lucky. So I just write down things like what I'm grateful for, for my vision, the fact that I am not in pain today, the fact that I'm not in host like you know hospitalized. I I have my loved ones and all of those things. Like just write them down, and it reminds you that. You know this is not our reality this is um this is like a temporary situation and we will come out of it and if you're really worried about your job if you're worried about what's going to happen to your loved ones or if you're not with your loved ones just to remind you you're not the only person who's going through the situation and almost the whole world is going through the same the same thing but in a different way some are just very lucky some of us can be at home do a video drink water and get on with their life and some people don't even have something to eat right now and that's a reality check some people can't eat and stay at home some people can't do self-isolation so just write down stuff that you're grateful for and um also extend your love um, digitally and just make a group chat like check on your friends and check on your family and yeah that's all we can do at the moment <laughs> you know um but yeah i hope you're all well follow me on instagram and thank you so much for tuning in and yes that's me out peace out